I'm hungry for some rings. All right, Hungaro Ring this week in the Porsche Cup. I haven't raced this track in forever and a half. Um, it's it's a tricky one. I, I end up thinking, I think I say that about uh, most of the tracks that come up. Uh, I was able to get a uh, 149, 679. Pretty happy with that time. I think I've still got some more in me, but uh, it's it's tough to, it's been like super hot here, so I've been sweating, practicing, and I've just I hit the point where I was getting like a, a tenth or a hundredth here and there, um, and not making super amounts of progress. I hit the point of diminishing returns, is what I'm going the long way about saying. So uh, let's go through um, the, we'll, we'll show you the fast lap, we'll come back, we'll, we'll go through how we did it, step by step and then we'll come back and give you some final thoughts here we go Sector one is quick. Sector two time is okay. That lap was a 149.68, sector three times okay. All right, Hungaro Ring, Porsche Cup, fixed setup. Uh, haven't touched brake bias or anything like that. Got ourselves a 149.679. Let's go through how we did it. Got a decent exit off of this corner here. We'll talk about this corner more when we uh, get to it on the actual lap, but uh, we're going full throttle through the first street. I break. There's a patch of uh, light colored cement here, and I'm breaking a bit before that. It's So this little patch is a bit before the 100. So I'm breaking before this, which is before this, and this is going to be hard to see if you're on somebody's tail. So uh, if you're if you're drafting somebody and if you're drafting, you need to break earlier anyway. Um, you're going to want to break well before that. But anyway, we're using that. Probably better to use the like a car length before the hundred marker is your your mental thing. But uh, we're pretty decently heavy on the brakes. Like 70% or so, and we're we're gonna downshift fourth. We're just trying to get down to second here as quick as we can. So we're easing off the brakes because if we hold that pressure too high too long, uh, we'll lock up. So we're getting down. We're gonna try and get down to second here. We're gonna turn in. Just hold that little bit of brake pressure. 
this is our moment of biggest rotation and then we're gonna get back on the throttle a little bit and then we're gonna unwind the wheel now we can go back full throttle and we still need to get some more turn in not a ton but we can turn the wheel a little bit we're going full throttle through here our next breaking point is coming up it's gonna be the hundred marker here I had been using, I think it's this white line, uh, but then I started moving to trying to use the 100 marker. It's a little bit after this line. Uh, we can go a little bit later that way. We're gonna break. We're aiming to get down to second uh, pretty quick here as well. So we're in third, down to second. Hold that little bit of brake pressure. One of the things that I did on this track uh, that helped me speed up, I was braking pretty hard into all these braking zones. I'm trying to uh, not brake quite as hard. I think that's something that I do in general. I'm working on it. But anyway, we're picking up the throttle just slightly. I pulsed it there. Probably should have just waited a little bit longer to get on the throttle. And then pulsing it. We got a lot of wheel in, so we can't like jam on the throttle. Then we open up and up and we can get the rest of the way on the throttle. We want to open up for this turn. So we tried to stay so tight on that corner for so long. And get over. Can't like just zigzag with the car. It's it's too heavy. It won't let you do that. So we have to be gentle with our weight shifts left to right. But we're turning in here. And we're gonna lift a little bit for the for the turn. Can't take it quite full throttle. I can't anyway. Bring it back to full throttle. And this is just going to be full throttle. Through here, use the much of the track as we can. Next breaking point is this uh, white line here. Which is just a little bit before the uh, red and white curbing on the right hand side. So we're going to brake again, trying, trying to keep it as minimal as possible on the braking. We're aiming to get down to third. Turn in a bit. And we're gonna start putting the throttle on right as we, we come up over here. And we're going to keep it about 70, 75% there until we get the car straightened out. Get it settled. It takes a while to settle and then we're gonna go the rest of the way on the throttle. And we're gonna try and open up this next corner on the right here. I think I goofed this up just a smidge on this lap. I can't remember. We're, we're breaking. Out of the end of this, uh, on the left here, I'm not really watching that myself. I'm just kind of uh, judging. I think maybe if I start using that as a marker, it'll help me uh, pick up some more consistency on this corner. This is one of the tougher ones for me. And we're just holding that little bit of brake pressure as we come in. I'm getting down to second here. And then I'm going to start bringing the throttle back in. Got to be careful. Uh, we hit the curb a little bit there. Then as the car comes around, we can straighten the wheel out and go the rest of the way on the throttle. Let's pull the throttle through here. Our next breaking point is going to be the red and white curbing here. And we're going to be pretty, pretty decent on the brakes. And we're going to downshift, trying to get to second uh, pretty quick. Then we'll hold a little bit of brake pressure. Turn in. A little bit of the curbing here. Don't use too much. You'll get an off track. And potentially a slowdown, I think, there. But anyway, we're back on the throttle. Full throttle through here. Need a little lift. And we're back to full throttle. Then I don't have a breaking point for this corner, but it's just a it's just a lift and then just a slight, ever so slight uh breathing on the brakes uh through this one. We want to make sure that we, we, this is, this is before the next corner coming up here, this is really short. So we want to, we want to make sure that we set up for that. Um, so if we have to go a little slow through this corner, 
to make sure the next one's good that's uh that's preferable there we're back on a little bit of throttle partial throttle braking so it's just it's such a short little thing that we don't want to like sacrifice that uh this corner to get time on the previous one we're just going to hold a little bit of throttle we come through i think i got on it a bit too early and i had to get back on the brakes there is start we start to exit that's where we want to get on the throttle and we can go full throttle through here we can come over quite a bit we'll keep the right tires on the inside i don't think you want to go much further over on the left than that and that's uh we're gonna come through here i'm gonna lift just a little lift there again this is uh similar to that previous one where we uh that corner that we just went through is not as important as this one coming up here. We're going to hold a little bit of brake pressure as we come around. We're in fourth. We downshift to third. And we're just going to hold that little bit of brake pressure until we can get back on the throttle there. And get on the throttle pretty early on this one. It's a high-speed corner. And then we're actually going full throttle now. And we can just come on over. Don't want to get on it too early. Need some practice. Uh, hitting this curb can unsettle the car. It's unsettled the car. Um, it can make you spin if you hit that curb wrong. But uh, we're going full throttle through here until we get to this uh, curbing. Then we're going to hit the brakes a little bit before that. Actually hit it at the, the 100 marker there. And we're going to... Down, we're downshifting pretty quick to help have that engine braking help us in the straight line here. So we're third, second, there we go, second, and then we're just going to hold that little bit of brake pressure, get the car turning, keep turning, so we get around and then we can bring some throttle back in, and as we get around we can come the rest of the way on the throttle. This is this is a weird track, and this this corner coming up here is pretty tough for me. Anyway. So we're gonna start braking at this uh, point here as we come around. Try to get as wide as we can. Hold that little bit of brake pressure as we're coming through. I tried coasting through here a bit. I found it a bit slower. But we're just going to hold that uh, that little bit of brake pressure. As soon as we kind of feel the weight of the car shift around and bring that uh, throttle in. Just a little bit of throttle. We're coming around. Then as we can open up the wheel and start feeding more throttle in, we can actually come out pretty, pretty far on this one. For full throttle through here. We're going to try and get over to the left as we come around. Full throttle. Then as we get over to the left hand side, we're going to start hitting our brakes again. And I've tried this both in third and second. I'm still mixed on which one I prefer. But we're just going to hold that little bit of brake pressure as we bring the car over to the right. And we can start bringing some throttle in. We're gonna kind of ride the right-hand curb here just a little bit. We don't want to. We don't want to hit it, but just kind of roll the car up onto it a bit. And then as we come around. We can start feeding more throttle in. Straighten out the wheel. Just keep a little bit of wheel in because we still need to make the uh, corner here. Then we can get out, and then it's full throttle. There we go. 149.679. So yeah, um, the, the thing I find tough about this course is all the, like, sudden shift, all the chicanes really shift the weight left to right quickly. Um, and it's, it's pretty tough to keep the speed up, uh, doing that without spinning the car. Um, so... 
I'll probably end up thinking, I think I might have to back out a little bit from, from these times. I'm not super consistent. That's, that's me whiffling waffling trying to say that, I guess. Uh, I need to tighten up the consistency. I think I can probably get another tenth or two, uh, if I really push, but, um, yeah, it's it's one of those tracks that's tough. I don't know the best uh, best passing spots either. I think it's got a reputation for one of those tracks that's really hard to pass at. So we'll see how that goes. If you want to watch along live when we do it, I uh, stream uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays on uh, twitch.tv slash thepiltdownman in the evenings. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Head and da, 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 da. I already said the Twitch thing. Uh, subscribe if you think I earned it. See you next time. Bye.